Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using boilerplate mm -hmm. and this is 11th part of this video session series in which we are going to delete the records from our database tables. Okay, so guys if you are beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions that we have made under plugin development using boilerplate so in the last video session guys actually we have displayed all the records that we have saved into our database table okay this is the table actually we use to display our records and here is our records okay which we have saved so now we want that when someone click on this delete button then we want to delete this record okay first of all i have to ask the confirmation that he is sure to delete this record if he clicks on yes then we need to delete this record so how can we achieve this okay so just guys and also guys if this is your first video session then i strongly suggest that first go to youtube channel type online web tutor and under the playlist section if you click on that then you could find about the playlist called wordpress plugin development using boilerplate okay and now we are learning in 11th part of this video session series okay 10th part already uploaded okay so now we want that when someone clicks on this delete button then we want to delete this record okay so first of all let's inspect that and now we need to give an id of this button or let's say that we need to make an add of this class okay by the help of that class we need to detect the click event on this button so just go to file structure open up the file and now this is all playlist sections okay it is displaying right here okay. so we need to specify a class within this button so just go to delete and now scroll down this is the delete button actually we have used okay so let's add a class called boiler or let's say custom plugin delete okay and now we want a delete id with this button because when someone clicks on this button then we need to detect that in which row actually user has clicked okay so we need to get the id of this row so let's make another attribute called data id okay and within this id let's say that php echo and now we need to give an id so how can could actually get the id so this is the data actually we are iterating over okay and all playlist sections actually came from the details this is okay and we are selecting all the details from our owt playlist table okay right here so we need to give means take the id of this table so now what we'll actually do just copy this id means data variable just go to data id section and let's say that data id and we want to retrieve the id of this okay so just save this file go to browser and refresh this page once more so when we inspect that just inspect this then this is the record here is our custom class and here is the id okay so this is the record actually has the id of six if you go to the database table then Laravel Turts actually has ID6. Okay, so if we scroll down, let's inspect this. Then this row has ID4. Okay, which basically WordPress theme development. So if we go to database and check that, then this is ID4. Okay, now we need to attach the click event listener with this button. Okay, on clicking of this button, we need to detect that this is the ID we need to delete from this table okay so first of all we need to detect the click event on this button so just make copy of this class name that we have provided and now go to your javascript file that we have made custom.js okay so let's add that we want to delete the record okay so let's say delete the record and let's say that jquery and uh, let's say document or let's say that this is the class that actually we need to click on okay on and we need to click add click event listener let's anonymous function for that function and first of all let's detect the id okay so let's say that id equal to jquery and now we need to give means fetch the attribute section of this button okay so attr and what is actually attribute and the attribute is data dash id okay 
what actually we are doing when we click on this button we need to fetch the data ID which is actually our attribute on this button okay so we need to fetch this data ID and how it is actually being accessed by using ATTR property of jQuery okay so just if I use console.log let's say data ID just save this file let's refresh this page once more so when we click on this button just go to console tab let's clear all this just click on this now this is data ID which is actually 5 okay so let's click on that this is ID number 4 so by detecting this ID we need to delete this ID from this table okay so just go to editor and let's say that just get rid of that let's say where post data equal to let's say that action and our action should be boiler request okay this is the action that we have used as you have remembered that WP Ajax boiler request okay so this is the action name and now the next thing is param so what we want to delete we want to delete the record from our database table okay so let's say delete underscore record data okay and now we need to supply the ID of data so let's say ID equal to concatenate with the data with data ID okay so this is the thing this is all the parameters that we need to pass to our server side code with the help of this JavaScript code okay so let's say that jQuery dot post let's say th this is our Ajax URL just copy this voila Ajax URL let me pass that and now we need to pass in the second parameter as our post data mix make an anonymous function to just access the response from server let's pass a parameter called response okay and let's say that console.log just I'm going to print all the response actually we are get from server okay so just I'm saving this file let's make a function let's make a block with this param parameter okay so just go to class OWT boiler admin and here is the function that actually we have attached with this Ajax handler okay where we have made something called WP Ajax boiler request and this is the function actually we are calling okay OWT Ajax handler FNS so if we go to this file this is the function okay so just I'm making copy of this block just scroll down and let's say that this is our next block okay and here is else if okay and now we go to just custom.js file just copy this param parameter and we need to replace with this save playlist okay and now let's say that data id actually we are getting let's say that uh, we are entering by using parameter called id just make copy of that and let's say that it's set request this is id actually we are getting now if it is set then we are just get the int well of this request and this is id okay else we need to supply zero value okay so first we need to check that this id actually exists in our database table or not if it exists then we need to delete that record okay so let's check first of all this ID actually exists in our database table so let's make is exists okay and let's say that WPTB let's check get row and let's make WPTB prepare let's say select asterisk from and uh, this is the table name actually we need to give okay so just make copy of that and paste it here okay and let's say that where ID equal to just make a placeholder for integer and this is data ID okay so if a row exists with this ID then it returns an array value okay otherwise it will be empty so let's pass another parameter to get an array let me check that if it is not empty okay if it will not be empty then it means it contains records otherwise we need to means let's say that echo json encode and let's say that within this array let's say that status equal to zero and let's say that message equal to no record found okay 
so just save this file and now after it means it exists if the record is exists now we need to delete that record okay so we need to use wp dv and delete okay in the first parameter we need to pass the table name okay so just make copy of that and paste within this okay just copy this and paste it here okay and in the second parameter we need to pass an array which basically takes the id on the behalf of actually we are deleting that record okay so let's say that id equal to the id actually we are need to delete this data id so just make copy of that and paste it here okay and now after deleting this id let's say that echo json encode and let's say within this array some values something called our status equal to one and the message should be something called record has deleted okay record has deleted so successfully guys we actually have checked that record face that details and deleted otherwise we need to means just give message to user that record not found okay so just go to js file and let's say that console.log response right now okay so if you save this file go to browser just refresh this page and now let's close all these errors first so just i'm clicking on this laravel touch just click on that and now record has deleted as i got the message in our console okay this is because actually we have put console.log okay so when we click on cancel just go to and just refresh this page and now the record has been deleted okay so let's make some confirmation before deleting that record okay and also we want to reload this page okay so just go to javascript code and let's say that just copy this response first and let's say that where data equal to jquery dot parse json we need to parse json first because we are sending json object from this as you can see so we need to first parse this array and all this actually we are getting response in this response variable okay so if data dot sts equal to equal to one it means status is one when we delete that record okay so let's say that if the record has been deleted then let's make an alert so let's say that within this alert let's say data dot message okay sorry it's not msg it's message okay because this is the message actually we want to display okay and now after some interval let's say set timeout and uh, just pass an anonymous function which actually basically reloads our page after one second okay and let's say location dot reload basically we we actually use to reload our location url okay of the current page so now before deleting this record if you want to make the confirmation of the user so let's say where conf equal to confirm let's make our you so want to delete okay question mark if it if he or she clicks on yes means conf if we get the true value on the user response okay means if suppose we are getting true value here then now by getting true value we need to delete this record okay otherwise let's say that else alert data dot msg okay so just save this file go to browser and refresh this page so now when we click on this tutorial just click on that it asks that are you want to delete if we click on ok then it returns the true value otherwise when we click on cancel then it returns false value so while clicking on cancel value it will not delete our record so just click on cancel and now nothing happens so when we click on this let's say that when we click on this delete button just click on ok and now okay it's undefined let me check that so let's check the network section as well so just i am clicking on this ajax request and now this actually record has deleted returned by a server okay so actually why we are not getting that record so this is status this is message so when we go to our code then this is the response where we have decoded the json object and this okay guys this is not sts this is status okay so if data dot status equal to equal to one means record has been deleted okay so this is our silly mistake so let's close all these 
so just reload this page once more click on this and so it is asking are you want to delete so just click on ok and now the record has deleted okay so successfully we have deleted our record by taking the confirmation from that user also okay so this is how easy guys to delete that record from our database table okay where we did some javascript code where we had add a uh, means server side code to detect that id actually exists in our database table if yes then we need to delete that record okay and also apart from this we need to give a class by using this class we need to attach a event listener okay so successfully guys we have seen that how can we delete a record from our database table okay and here is refresh this page now we have only one record from this table okay so in our upcoming videos guys we will need to discuss something extra in this tutorial so in this tutorial guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day